So you're saying Asia City isn't real? But all the adverts and tourist boards a total lie. It's being plundered by the council, like a piñata at a kid's party. Hey, look who's waking up. Joey? Check out my new threads. But... how? This weird guy fixed me. Yeah, I went through your bag while you were asleep. Found my old cleaver in there as well. Thank you. But never mind that. I was monitoring your progress while you were in there. Looks like you nailed both our data problems. So my ID should be cleared then? Your ID. My access to Minos. Result. I thought you said Link Space was empty. It had a major virus. The Helix virus? That's still going. Glad I didn't have to deal with that. Late! One second, Poppy. Hey, where's her Bilby? Shh. I got the Bilby away from her while you were in Link Space. <laughs> Managed to slip it into your purse without a note to send. Dump it in the incinerator when you leave. It's not a purse. It's a satchel. Did I hear you say Asio City? Don't get me started. When I found out about Asio City, that was the last straw. What happened? You've seen the land trains. They're coming directly from Asio City. Or what's left of it. What do you mean? We destroyed it. An entire metropolis converted to scrap. And the people forced into the gap. That's terrible. All while the people of Union City get fat off its remains. And the Council call them our allies. What were you and Joey talking about as I was waking up? <laughs> Foster, you should hear this guy. He's a proper nut job. Says the droid with a god complex. That's not a complex. I am a god. Anyway, ask him about some of his theories. They are wildly entertaining. And by entertaining, I of course mean fascinating and informative. Okay. Theory of evolution. What is all that about? Where's the controlled experiment, right? Duh! Any other conspiracy theories? The only way magenta can exist as a color is if rainbows are actually rain tubes. Think about it! Any other conspiracy theories? Tell him the one about the Minister of Aspiration. Well, I'm not saying conclusively that she's a reverse vampire, but duh! You only ever see her in public during the day! So my ID is now clear? No blockers? No blockers. I hope you know what you're doing, by the way. Graham wanted his emails hidden for a reason. Of course, I can't patch his two-week absence. But you should be fine so long as you don't meet anyone from well-being. Does Mentor Alonzo count? Yep. When I go, is Poppy going to be okay? After what you just did in Link Space? Absolutely. Anyway, I've had enough of this city. I've been planning my exit strategy for months. Just a few hours time, I'm heading out of this happy, happy cesspool of fake smiles, spankles and secrets. Late! And I'm taking Poppy with me. Get her back to her family in the gap. Take her out of the city? How? I think I figured out a way to slip a U-chip past the system. It's a little bit of genius. It's all about the kudos. You think it'll get her through the city gates? I'm still working on it. But if I'm right, which I always am, I'll get her anywhere. Late, late, late! <laughs> if she can shut up for five minutes. What's the story on that distillery out there? The moonshine still. That's Jimmy's. What's the moonshine made of? Out-of-date spankles. Sounds dangerous. You're not kidding. It's practically weapons grade. Boy, seeing all this old tech takes me back. Haha! <laughs> Still the best, isn't it? I mean, sure. Reboots are fine, but they're never a patch on the original. Amen to that.
Surely there can't be much call for old robot parts. Listen, I don't judge you. Hey, I'm not judging. My pockets are stuffed full of crap. Any other conspiracy theories? Well, you know how everyone thinks the Earth is just a flat disk. Sure. Day one of elementary school. Well, listen to this. Globe. Boom! That's insane. Any other things I should be worried about on my ID? Only that you're about a foot taller than the original Graham Grundy. By the way, how the hell did his ID end up in you anyway? That's deep core stuff. It was transferred into my U-chip by a hacker in the Gap. Impressive. How long has this dude been a hacker? Not that long, I guess. She can't be more than... 14. Oh. Good luck, and thanks. Same to you. By the way, you never told me your name. Foster. Robert Foster. Drown. Joey Drown. I don't expect I'll see the two of you again. Everything I'd learned from Leet made me wonder. Maybe all along, Graham was one of the good guys. At least now, with the data blocker removed from his ID, I'd be able to look deeper into his life. Hey, Foster, where are we dropping? Back to Graham's apartment for some good old-fashioned detective work. Lead the way. Graham's data was now unblocked. I hoped that would help me move forward. Droid was no longer a threat. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Take me to my apartment. Certainly, Citizen Graham. Nice Got a minute? Is something the matter? Hello again. Good evening, Master Grundy. Off to work, I see. What? Oh, yes, the cleaning won't supervise itself. Later, Tarquin. Have a good day, Mr. Grun... day. Thankfully, Graham's mail access was restored. I hoped it would help me figure out more about who this guy was.
whoever unknown author was, had sent Graham an attachment for the holoplinth. There was one thing I was sure of. That was not a bonsai tree. The plinth was showing the toy's tracking data. Excuse me, please. The image being displayed on the hollow plinth had changed. The HoloLens now projected fragmented data. Whoever had sent me this email attachment was trying to tell Graham something. But what? I swapped the lens for the broken one from the lockbox. It was a secret message. Aspiration Gala. Midnight. Be there. The Gala? That's tonight. And I need to be there. I swapped the lens back to the original one. The hollow lens now projected fragmented data. Whoever had sent me this email attachment was trying to tell Graham something. But what? Excuse me, Songbird? Oh, you're back. I see you've changed. Good idea. You looked like a Gaplander. So you're supposed to go to this Aspiration Gala? I prefer the term destined. After all these years, finally a high enough kudos level to get me to high places. The Aspiration Gala? This is my chance to soar. The sort of kudos levels that are gonna be there. My social status will skyrocket. Sounds like fun. This isn't some kid's birthday party. It's about dragging myself out of the gutter and moving one step closer to the lower level. Can I get tickets to the Aspiration Gala? Oh, darling. You stole the wrong ID. Classic Foster. Graham wouldn't make the guest list? Not by a mile. He wouldn't even get the cleaning gig the morning after. Opposites attract, I suppose. Please. It was thanks to me that he wasn't shifted up top. And thanks to him, that I'm stuck here. I really need to get to the Aspiration Gala. <sighs> what do you care? A little above your station, don't you think? Whereas people like me belong there. Can you get me tickets? Darling, even if I could, you're not exactly gala material. Compliment received. Why don't you run off and find Reginald, or that stuck-up droid of his, Tarquin? They might be a little more... charitable. I need to get tickets for tonight's gala. Like I said, 
You'll have better luck speaking to Reginald, or Tarquin. Bye, Songbird. Yeah, bye. I think this is yours. Where'd you get that? Give him here. What did Nasty Graham do to you? Just borrowed him, far as I can tell. Kid took good care of him. Kid? What kid? Little girl called Poppy. Runaway. Graham loaned her Bartleby so she wouldn't be scared. It was my engagement gift, you know. Lot of memories. Songbird's tone of voice appeared to soften just for a moment. I'm sure he didn't mean to upset you. Anyway, leave me alone, will you? I have things I need to get on with. I found this outside. I think Graham hid it. One of his silly photos, hmm? Not silly. It was a stalker. A what? Are those children? Yes, kidnapped from the Gap. Like Milo, the boy I'm looking for. I think Graham was involved somehow. <laughs> My Graham. You serious? Think so. Well, what do you know? Guess that's what got him killed. Looks like it. Silly fool. Always getting involved, trying to right wrongs. The contempt Songbird had for Graham seemed to be fading. You'd better keep it. No use to me. Sorry. Got a minute? Apologies if my loquacious musings disturbed one. Hello again. Good day, Master Grundy. Are you going to the Aspiration Gala? Going? One is headlining, sir. What do you mean? Yours truly is performing in front of the best and brightest of Union City. Performing what? Droid poetry, sir. Oh, boy. As an honored guest, do you have any spare tickets for tonight's Aspiration Gala? Yes. One has been granted several refer-a-friend passes to the Aspiration Gala. Can I have one? Would Sir consider us to be... friends? Yes, of course. Moments ago, Sir did not remember one's name. Yes, but... In spite of the 322 exchanges we have had since we became neighbors. Yeah, I can see how that might hurt a bit. So this poetry performance you mentioned, what's the story? Ah, one has been invited to recite a humorous poem of one's own devising at tonight's Aspiration Gala. You, a droid, have been tasked with writing a poem? Oh, yes, sir. The Poet Laureate Reginald Arthur Schnippel Esquire performs regularly at the gala, and this year he has invited me to open for him by reading an inspirational and humorous example of droid poetry on stage. Droid poetry? How's that working out? Very good, sir. Reginald has told me that whatever I read, it will be hilarious, and the people will laugh uncontrollably. Hmm. Laugh at or... Laugh with. Oh, is there a difference? That's what I thought. If I gave you a bit of inspiration for your poem, could you get me into the gala? Sir, that would be only fair. I'm sure Sir would enjoy the fruits of that inspiration at the performance. I realized if I could help Tarquin with his poem, he could get me into the gala. So Reginald's the go-to guy for inspiration, hmm? Absolutely. His wit and insight is renowned. And yet he's asked you to perform alongside him. Yes, for comparison. I see. So just to be clear, I give you inspiration, you get me into aspiration. Inspiration for aspiration. That's rather clever. 
and it rhymes. Sir's genius is luminescent. In that case, let me go see what I can find. Where would I find Reginald? Well, he is likely in the piazza, finalizing his humorous poem for tonight's event. But I am his servant, not his keeper, sir. Could I hear some of your droid poetry? Fine idea. One would value the input of an average human. If you're looking for average, he's your man. After 148,606 iterations, I have narrowed down the contenders to a manageable number. Here is number 59. <clears throat> there was once an A from place B, with unforeseen predicate P. Factor F occurred next, which resulted in X, and hilarious consequence C. Ha! Brilliant! Bravo! It might be a little... on the nose. Dear me, it's not about noses. It is a study of the structure of a limerick, assembled into the pattern of an actual limerick. How very... clever. Indeed. That is what makes it so very funny. Absolutely. You got any other poems in the running? Oh, yes, sir. One has a list of things humans find funny. Shoot. <clears throat> Uncooked sausages, dogs wearing costumes, music of the tuba, children falling down, undone zippers, people dropping sandwiches, knock-knock jokes, and the smell of farts. <laughs> that one was pretty good. I don't get that one at all. But it has a good beat, and it's easy to dance to. The rhythmic structure is satisfying, is it not, sir? Very. And the farts, sir? That's the best bit. Later, Tarquin. Have a good day, Mr. Grun Day. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? The Piazza is the place for me. It would be my pleasure, Citizen Graham. Tarquin's master, Reginald, was supposed to be around here somewhere. Scan your U-chip to place an order. Can I ask you a few questions? I'm here to serve. Can you tell me more about the Council? I'd recommend speaking to either a reader terminal or taking a visit to the Museum of New History. Bye for now. Keep a smile on your face. I was looking for an eccentric poet, and Reginald certainly fit the bill. Apologies, but this is the VIP lounge. You do not currently hold the required kudos value. Please scan your U-chip to place an order. Hello. Hi there, citizen. Do you know the guy in the VIP lounge? Of course. That would be the wonderful Sir Reginald Arthur Schnipple, Union City's Poet Laureate. Is he any good? Oh, yes. He comes to tell me quite often how brilliant he is. Or that the music is too distracting. How can I get into the VIP lounge? The VIP lounge is reserved for those with sufficient kudos. Let me scan your U-chip. Processing. Processing. Denied. Okay. So how do I get more kudos? There are many paths to kudos. Employment. Civil awards. Competitions. Good deeds. So, how much kudos do I need to get in? 
Hmm. Let's see. You've got a lot of work to do, Citizen Graham. What's Reginald doing in there? Other than enjoying the cafe's fine playlist? Working on his latest piece, I believe. He's performing at the Aspiration Gala, you know? What's so special about the VIP lounge? Well, for one, it only lets in a select few. So, peace and quiet? Peace, certainly. Quiet, not at all. The music in there is even louder. Why would they want that? The music is scientifically engineered to be both soothing and relaxing. Why does Reginald come here to work? For the stimulating and creative atmosphere, I imagine. We do have to be careful with the music, though. What do you mean? Let's just say Sir Reginald has a singular taste in music. Bye for now. Keep a smile on your face. <laughs>